Welcome back to DZ Vision. Today, we're gonna to be having some fun in the sun on a holiday. Today is a holiday. It is Monday, October 10th, 2022, and it's National Heroes Day, formerly Columbus Day here in the Bahamas. So we thought that since it's a holiday, we'll come out on the beach, we'll have some fun in the sun, and do some other exciting things. And for those of you that are living places where the weather has now switched over to winter weather, we do, we can dedicate this video to you. So we want you to live vicariously through us as we're here on Junkanoo Beach enjoying a beautiful holiday. Now they say it's gonna rain a little later, so I hope that later isn't wild where we're having fun. But all in all, we're looking forward to having a good day. There's the sun peeking through the trees. So if you're ready to have uh, some fun in the sun on this holiday, come on, let's go. here at Junkanoo Beach you can see right there not too far away is Margaritaville Resort you can see the Nassau cruise port from here they got a carnival ship that's parked in port right now I think there's another one on the side of it and from where I'm sitting I can see like the Atlantis the Atlantis towers also so um, this would be the first time that I've brought you guys on a beach day here on Junkanoo Beach and so, hope you guys enjoy it. Had a good swim out here on Junkanoo Beach, and um, I think it's about time you go look for something to eat, eh? Yeah, I'm hungry. Now. Yeah, you know, after you swim in the salt water, for those of you who know, you know, after you swim in the salt water, then you know the munchies start coming on, so time to go get something to eat. So let's go look for something. We decided to stop here at the Salty Crab, they're located here on Junkanoo Beach. Um, there are a few places that you can stop to eat here, including um, Tiki Hut that's down that way. Uh, we decided to try out the salty crab, and so this is where we're going to be having lunch today. And here's a look at their menu. You can see everything they have here. Chicken wing snack, crack, shrimp snack, crack conch. They also have a fish steak, fried snapper, crack lobster, and their local grill catch of the day. They also have what they call uh, quick bite apps, like quesadillas, conch fritters, seafood fritters, local lobster salad, you can get a chicken sandwich, conch burger, fish sandwich, hamburger, and even a hot dog if you so please. You can also get your choice of alcoholic beverages if you also desire. Um, and I'll find out if they have um, the non-alcoholic stuff like the juices and the sodas also. And you also get a beautiful view of the beach from here because it is beachfront so you also get a good view while you eat. So these are our drink options. We went with uh, non-alcoholic options today, pineapple and the fruit punch. So we're going to start off with these drinks. 
All right, the appetizers here, the seafood fritters. And I think in this we get um, a bit of all of the seafood delights that we have in the Bahamas, like shrimp and conch and all that good stuff. But we're gonna dig into this right now. Yeah, our main courses are here. I got the cracked chicken. Mark Joe got the cracked conch burger. And we're gonna get down with it. So we just coming back from the salty crab. This is where we had lunch out here on Jonganu Beach. And for me, food is pretty good. Yeah, it was that was great. that was my first time eating there. And one thing I can say, uh, when we walked in, it didn't take long for anyone to come and assist us. Um, we sat down, we placed our order, and maybe within three to five minutes, the appetizer was out. And before we could even finish the appetizers. <laughs> Our main courses came up, so I would go there again. Yeah. I, I would try the salty crab again, and the food was delicious too. Yeah, the food the food was good, and if you're from here, if you're from Nassau, you know, go and check them out on on a holiday or a weekend. And if you're visiting Nassau, you know, you could always tell your your taxi driver, your tour operator, to bring you down to Junkroo Beach. You could check out the salty crab, but I approve. Not too far from the Junkaroo Beach is the Margaritaville Resort. And if you look back in some of my older videos, you will see uh, the stay that we did here. In fact, I'll try and put uh, the link to that in the description section. But Margaritaville isn't too far from where Junkaroo Beach is. They are right next door to each other, so they are neighbors. And we're gonna be taking a walk uh, further down onto Bay Street to go look for you know some other things to eat we're not finished eating yet we're not we're done gonna look for some desserts y'all yeah it's a holiday so we're gonna make the best of it the sun is still out shining bright we ain't seeing that rain that they said was coming so i'm happy for that so we're gonna make our way further down bay street to you know look for, for some more things to enjoy and here we have the margaritaville pirates they always got their eye down here watching the western half of Bay Street. Okay, so our first spot of choice um, that we stopped to wasn't opened. So naturally, we stopped at the Dairy Queen. And for those other towners that don't know, the Bahamas does has does has places does have places like McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King. And this is just one of the McDonald's locations that we have here in Nassau. And it's downtown. All right, so we came over here by one particular harbor to just take in more of the view. Like I told you, we went to Dairy Queen. Macho still has her ice cream. I already ate mine. Because <laughs> hers, she took long to get hers. So I already yeah. ate mine. And you can see the Nassau cruise port from here. There's a carnival ship in port. I don't know what time is leaving. It may be soon. And then um, right here is one particular harbor right behind us. And then you have Fins Up Water Park at the Margaritaville <laughs> Resort right there. Other than that, you just have this beautifully perfect view and the weather's still good and I'm very thankful for that. So yeah, 
Like I said, fun in the sun. I had a very relaxing time sitting there in front of one particular harbor. So we're gonna head out from here. But where do our adventures take us now for the rest of the day? I watered up the sun. There it is. Stay tuned to find out. So it's a few hours later, and you know, we just decided to come over Paradise Island to the Atlantis Paradise Island Resort. You know, just to do a little stroll to end the day, to wind down from, you know, our day we spent at the beach, because it was hot today. Yeah. It was hot, you know. Um, he dragged me off the bed, y'all. <laughs> You yeah. Know, after after the beach, all you want to do is laugh. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted to you know just end the day with a nice little stroll, you know, where there's some beautiful scenery and stuff like that. So we just came over to the resort to you know catch a little scenic stroll, and then we're just gonna end the video after that. So. <laughs> Well, that brings us to the end of today's video. Um, it's been a long day, but an enjoyable day. And what I did just now, I gave you all like kind of a different perspective on taking little strolls through the Atlantis. Most time people do it in the day, but I just gave you guys a nighttime perspective. I hope you appreciated it. 
um, it was a nice little stroll, a nice little walk to kind of come down and end the day. So I appreciate you all for hanging out with us today. Hope you enjoyed the holiday. It was nice and beautiful. We had some fun in the sun, some good food, and some good treats. So we're gonna call it a day. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, give the video a big like, show some love to the channel. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to check all the links I left in the description section for you. So until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.